Well, ahoy there, cruisers, and welcome on board Royal Caribbean's newest cruise ship, Odyssey of the Seas, for a full ship tour walkthrough. Let's start at the very top, in the Adults Only Solarium. It's located at the front of the ship. It's a beautiful climate controlled space with cascading pools and four hot tubs. and it looks even more spectacular on a night. Moving back to what used to be the family solarium on other Quantum class ships, on Odyssey this is now an outdoor pool area. It's got an infinity hot tub and large screen showing movies through the day and night. It's a really great space and features part of the lime and coconut bar. Next door is Sprinkles, serving up complimentary soft serve ice cream. And moving further back is the main pool area. There's plenty of sun lounges and sunbeds. But there's cabanas available for an extra cost. But the free seating is so good and comfortable, we just couldn't see the value in paying for one. Also on the top decks, you'll find the North Star, it's the tallest viewing deck on any ship as it takes you over 300 feet above sea level. It's usually free whilst in dock, but there's an extra charge for a longer ride whilst at sea. There's a large swimming pool with two hot tubs, another one of the infinity hot tubs, as well as a kids area and slide. You will also find the other side of the lime and coconut bar, and you can often find live music around the pool. And just off this main pool area, you can find El Loco Fresh. It's a complimentary quick service Mexican restaurant, serving things like tacos, chips and dip, and burritos with lots of fixings. It's much better than Johnny Rockets found on most other ships. And best of all, like we said, it's complimentary. Around the open decks, there's games and some really cool photo spots. And wow, the ship looks really beautiful and colourful on a night. Oh, just gorgeous. And towards the back of the ship, you'll find some larger than life artwork. A giant pink cat chasing a ball of wool. And when you get really up and close, you can see that the cat is made up of thousands of flower buds. It's really pretty. Next to the giant cat is the climbing wall. And then at the back, you have the brand new sky pad a VR trampoline, as well as a glass walkway that looks straight down the ship. It's terrifying, but very cool.
you'll also find favourites such as the Flow Rider. And the skydiving simulator I Fly by Ripcord. Now let's move inside to the kids clubs with Adventure Ocean. There's so many cool different spaces for kids of all ages. Then there's the teen area, Social 180, featuring a lounge and outdoor area. The Cplex is a huge indoor sports arena, featuring bumper cars, roller skating and lots of sports. And there's loads of cool seating, games and things to do here. And on this ship they've even added Playmakers, the sports bar, to the second level. It serves bar-style food for a small extra charge and features plenty of screens to catch up on sport and live games. But the doghouse hot dog stand is now gone, but you can still find a cork freestyle machine for your soda refills. Towards the front of the ship is the buffet, the wind jammer marketplace. It's open for breakfast, lunch, as well as dinner. And there is a massive selection. We were super impressed. Not only was there a good quantity, but the quality was great as well, and the food tasted really good. There's a drinks station serving complimentary water, juice, tea and coffee, as well as a full bar and coffee shop for those extra paid drinks and coffees. The buffet has loads of seating areas, we never had any problem finding a seat. And just next door to the buffet is the Coastal Kitchen, the restaurant for sweet guests only. It has some great views because it's at the top of the ship. We just love the colourful and quirky artwork all around the ship. And there's another glass walkway inside looking down. Oh dear, it's terrifying. Also brand new to the ship and just next to the buffet, featuring hibachi grills where the food is cooked by the chef at your table right in front of you. It's a really fun dinner show. And finally, on the top deck, you'll find the Vitality Spa and Fitness Center. Here you can get treatments, massages, haircuts, as well as a fully featured gym with loads of different equipment. All 
around the ship, there's interactive screens and information points, so it's really difficult to get lost. Moving down to the main decks on deck four, you'll find the lower level of the main dining room. All the main dining rooms on the ship have been combined to make one huge one. The entrances are really spectacular with giant LED walls. We really think the main dining room is really beautiful. We just love how spacious and open it is. It's open for breakfast and dinner every day, as well when at sea for lunch. There's so much fun interactive artwork all around the ship. Forward of the main dining room is guest services. And this leads us to the heart of the ship, the Royal Esplanade. First up, you'll find Boleros. It's a Latin themed club open till late every night. And there's loads of different shopping opportunities as well. Moving further forward, you'll find Starbucks. Remember, drinks here are not included in your drinks packages. And just opposite is Cafe Promenade, serving complimentary tea, coffee, water, as well as sweet and savory snacks 24 hours a day. Next door is Sorrento's, the complimentary pizzeria, serving freshly cooked pizzas and Italian snacks. Here you'll find another cork freestyle machine. Just to the left, we have the Crown and Compass pub, a British style pub serving lots of beers and lagers, as well as pub food for an extra charge. There's loads more shops selling jewellery, watches, makeup, clothing, and more. Coming into the music hall, it's a two-level live music venue. It's a really great spot to enjoy live bands, trivia, karaoke and DJs. There's two bars, one on each level, and comfortable seating and a few pool tables.
and just next to the lower level of the music hall is a large casino, featuring a big variety of machines as well as tables. Moving forward on deck four, we pass more shops as well as some cool artwork. Then we reach the very front of the ship, the Royal Theatre. It's a huge theater and we saw some really great shows here, including Tap Factory, Showgirls and The Effectors. Now The Effectors featured real life flying drones. It was really cool and something we've never seen before on a ship. Let's go up one level to deck five, where we have the upper level of the Royal Esplanade. It features the extra pay restaurant, Chop's Grill, the American Steakhouse. We had a really great meal here. Just next to Chop's is the Schooner Bar, a hot spot for good drinks and lots of live music and trivia. Just next to the bar is the Focus Photo Gallery. Here you can buy your photos taken by the ship's photographers and there's also a small shop selling things like GoPros, cameras and accessories. There's some great views to the Esplanade below. And moving towards the back, you'll find Izumi, serving up Japanese dishes, including sushi, for an extra charge. And there's also some great seating that overlooks the main esplanade. The Bionic Bar features two robots who mix and serve your drinks. It's really cool. And if you have the beverage packages, it's included as well, which is really great. Some of the cruise lines charge extra. Next door you can find the shore excursions desks to book your next adventure on shore. We just love all of the beautiful art pieces on board Odyssey of the Seas. They are really beautiful. She's such a pretty ship. On the other side of the upper esplanade is Wonderland, the quirky Alice in Wonderland style restaurant. You can go here for an extra charge. We just love the theming. If you go, you have to try the world's chocolate dessert. It's so yummy.
You can also find a small outdoor promenade deck, but the view is mostly blocked by life rafts. Moving towards the back, you have some great views up. This ship is insanely tall. The walk to the next area is so pretty. The artwork and colours are just so vibrant. And here on deck five, you can look down to the lower levels of the main dining room. On previous ships, this area was covered. We really like the new layout. Giovanni's Italian Kitchen is an evolved version of both Jamie's Italian and Giovanni's Table. It's an extra charge restaurant, and we have to say the food here was really good. They've also got a brand new pizza oven, so the pizza was very good. Just next door is Giovanni's Wine Bar. You can also grab some of the appetizers and charcuterie from the restaurant next door. Surrounding this area, you'll find another set of more upscale shops selling posh jewellery and watches. And moving towards the back, there's a small art gallery and the next cruise desks. Here you can book cruises with some great discounts and offers. And just before we hit the very back of the ship, you have one of our favourite places, the cafe at 270. It's a complimentary eatery serving some lovely fresh salads, sandwiches, pastries, cakes and more. And at the very back of the ship is 270, an incredible entertainment venue with some tables and seating for the cafe. There's some amazing views of the wake here, but on a night, the venue turns into an entertainment venue. It features robotic screens and a great show called The Book.
We had such a fantastic time on Odyssey of the Seas. We really hope you enjoyed our full ship tour and we've got some great videos coming from our experience on board Odyssey of the Seas. So please hit that subscribe button and the like button. It really helps us out. And thank you so much for all of our lovely patrons. If you would like to support us to make more videos like this, where we can cruise and create honest and transparent videos, please look in the description section below. And in return, we give you loads of great things like behind the scenes footage, ad free videos, Zoom calls, and much more. That's it till next time. Happy cruising.